Hello fellow music makers, this is Bill McFadden, and this is a comparison between Synchron Pianos, the Yamaha CFX that just came out, and nine other pianos that are sort of in the same category. So let's go ahead and listen to a small excerpt from the Synchron Piano. Okay, and then let's go ahead and listen to Sin Piano. And let's listen to Keyscape, their classic piano. And let's listen to Ivory. It's sort of hard unless you do like a one one on one. So what we're going to do is I'll start with Synchron and I'll just play a couple of notes and then we'll go to the other pianos. So Actually, I'll raise the volume back up a little bit. So that's Synchron. Syn piano. Now we'll do the Synchron. Emotional. Synchron. Cinematic. Synchron. Grandeur. Synchron. Maverick. Synchron. Keyscape. Synchron. Ivory. Synchron. And this is the Yamaha C7 from Play. Synchron. Bosendorfer from play. So let's do some upper register stuff. Start, I'll do the gamut here.
So we can tell the different pianos have different qualities. The uh, Bosendorfer, to me, sounds really nice. But at the same time, it's lacking the clarity of the Vienna Synchron. So here's your Vienna Synchron. And then the Yamaha is a little brighter. So it's a close match there. If you want that timbre. The Cine Piano. Almost sounds felty. Which is a very desirable sound these days. The emotional piano also has that felt quality to it. Let's turn the volume up a little bit on the cinematic studio piano. The cinematic studio piano does quite well considering the price difference. And then we have the, let's go back to Synchron, the Grandeur. Again, sort of a muffled sound, desirable, but if we're talking about realism, I would say the Synchron has the so far as the most realistic out of the group here. Keyscape, and this is their concert. Let's look at the, it's the C7 Grand Piano. And then here's your ivory, ivory. is really, really good. This is the American uh, Concert D. But I still think that the Synchron has a little greater clarity. And then the uh, Yamaha C7. Very similar. And that's with all three mic positions. Now, going to the, and let's do the Bosendorfer same chord arpeggio. So the Bos Bosendorfer has some nice overtones, but still, in terms of realism, I think the Synchron has it. Opinions may differ, but that's the way I see it. Now, in the Synchron, the patch that we're using is the, um, the concert. And there are four mics. And then within that, there's you have the uh, room mic presets and so on, but the the concert center decatry has the most mic positions, and this is a standard synchron. It's not the extended version. The extended version is good um, if you have a surround sound system. If you have 5.1 or 7.1, then you'll probably want to get the surround sound version. You get these additional microphone positions, surround high, high surround, as well as a mid two. And a close to. So altogether, 
you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mic positions. Now the Synchron minimum requirements for the PC is are listed here. And then for the Mac OS, you need 1010 or higher. And you need an SSD drive for sample content. If you're just running it on a 7200 drive, you're going to have problems. You want to put it on an SSD and you need the Vienna key. It doesn't run on the iLock system. It runs on the Vienna key system, the Vienna Symphonic Library USB protection device or other USB E licensor. And for the standard library, you need 115 gigabytes. And for the full library, you need 239 gigabytes. So just a little over double. So that's another thing to take into consideration. You really only probably want to get that if you have a surround sound system hooked up to your DAW. So let's hear a little bit more of the yeah, symphonic piano. See it's peaking a little bit and probably what I need to do is give it a little more buffer size. So if I go to studio setup and go to the control panel, I'm only at 512. Let's bump it up to 20, 1024. And now let's try that again and see if we still get the spikes. So you do, do need a fairly powerful system to run this piano. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to subscribe and be notified of upcoming videos, then please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music. Music